Today here on Camp Geeks, we're back talking about stoves. And in particular, we're looking at some MSR wind burner stoves. So let's get into it. Well, today, guys, as you can see here on the table, I have several different stoves, and really, in all reality, it's to get to this system over here on the side. Um, if you've watched my channel in years past, you know, probably, that I am a very big supporter of the wind burner stove system. So I actually started off with this, which is the personal wind burner stove. It's a small one liter pot, fantastic for boiling water really quick, um, no matter what the weather conditions are. And I love this thing. I've taken it with me on several trips. It's fantastic. Which led me into this guy, which is the Duo system. Now, this is a 1.8 liter pot. Uh, it's designed for two people. That's why they call it the Duo. Um, essentially, it's, it's everything this is just bigger, right? Uh, I have the coffee filter system for both of these that I keep stored in here. Um, I love both of these. They are fantastic, and I tend to grab one or the two depending on how many people um, are going to be with me. If it's, or if I'm just going to be cooking something that's a little bit bigger than the Duo kind of is the, the system I go with. And in all reality, these two are really designed for boiling water. Um, that's kind of what they're made for, uh, boiling water for whatever sir, uh, purpose you, you, uh, you have. Now, of course, you can cook in them, but you just got to be careful because they're designed to heat water fast in no matter how windy it is out. That's when you can graduate to this, which is the group stove system from, uh, from MSR. So it is the wind burner stove system. Now this is right here is the combo kit. You can get just the wind burner group stove or the wind burner group stove combo, which includes this eight inch uh, fry pan kind of. Um, they're both ceramically coated aluminum. So they do both have that nonstick surface built into them. Um, if you're looking at pricing, I'll start with that, uh, 169, 199, and then 219 for just the stove uh, and a uh, single pot, two and a half liter pot, by the way. And then the combo is 279. Those are retail prices. And in all reality, uh, you can usually get a coupon no matter where you go. So, in, you know, what, what, what I have all of these out here for is to show that there is a wind burner stove at, you know, for pretty much no matter what you're going to do. The only thing that these don't do a fantastic job at, specifically these two actually, is simmering, cooking slow cooked meals on the stove. Um, and in all reality, even this guy, it's cooking a lot of water at once, no matter, again, same wind burner technology built into the bottom of the pot and in the burner itself. Um, it's designed to cook for a group fast. Pretty much all of the meals that I cooked with this system as well were pretty much boil water and then pour into the bag and seal and let it cook. Um, backpacking type uh, systems, but for larger uh, amounts of people. So I'm cooking a whole bunch of water and then I'm pouring that water into maybe two packs or three packs, depending on how much food we're eating and how many people are eating. But the two and a half liter pot allowed me to cook you know, get all the, the water ready for cooking. And then while we're eating, we can get the water ready for beverages or for that matter, um, sterilizing um, the cookware after we're done eating and we want to clean up. Uh, so that is, you know, this. The other thing though that this is, is that, or also what it isn't, it is and it isn't. Um, these, you know, these have plastic lids that just kind of pop on the, the, the item. Um, they have a quick pour lid where you can just kind of pour the water out as well as a straining piece here at the top. It's the same thing with the two and a half liter pot because it's, it's essentially the same uh, system that you're going to find in all of the MSR pots um, in that the lid actually has a straining uh, capability built into it as well. Uh, but in all reality, I'm going to get these off the table. We're going to bring the video in and we're going to focus on this guy, specifically this guy, and, uh, and go from there. So, like I said, um, 
we're, I'm gonna focus mainly on what I have in front of me, which is the group combo, but knowing going in that if you're not buying the combo, you're just not getting this nice eight inch pan. Now I will say that we did cook some uh, eggs and stuff in this pan. Actually, it worked better than I had thought. Now this, this specific wind burner stove is designed to be able to cook real meals. So you can cook things that you really you really can't cook on the smaller wind burner uh, personal and duo because those are really designed for boiling water. Um, so yeah, we actually did put it on low and actually cooked eggs, uh, kind of scrambled eggs in this pan. Um, now they were backpacking eggs, so they were powdered eggs that we you know mixed up and threw in the pan and then cooked it and it actually was really good and we didn't burn it at all. So yes, you can cook meals in this system. I'm gonna throw the this pan now. You can see that it does have the wind burner, so it just sets on top. Um, so, and it looks a little bit different than the duo and the personal in that the stove itself is uh, right here. I'm gonna, these are just the manuals and security stuff that I typically don't keep with me, but I threw them in here just for the video. And they do give you a nice little uh, pad here. It's a cleaning pad, but at the same time, it keeps you from scratching the pan when you're putting something that's metal in here. And then I have a nice little lighter, which I'll use. Um, this is mine. I've been using this probably for 15 years. It's still going because all I do is, well, all I do is light stoves with it in all reality. Um, so this is the stove right here. You can see the feet kind of come out. They're all built in. And then you have a nice little stance of it. Um, the pots, whether it's the pan here, just set on top. They don't lot latch in or anything like that. So you can quickly go on and off. Um, and that's just because it's the larger system and you have a much larger pot So it's gonna be a lot harder to click it into place and and such So this is not gonna be something that you're gonna be able to hang This is gonna be one that's that's specific for cooking on a table or on a rock or whatever on the ground for that matter um, And you just kind of set it in place um, Just like before there is a Wire that goes across here that lights up glows nice and red so if you've ever worked with a wind burner stove before, it's not super easy to tell how it makes sure that it's actually on. It's not like uh, like a normal stove where you get a real, like if there's a big flame and it's real obvious. It's a bluish flame and if it's really bright outside, it's it, other than the heat that it's given off, you can't really see it, but there's a nice uh, wire right here that, uh, and if you can see that wire right there that gives off a nice glow. And I'll show you that here in a second. Um, I don't have, uh, I can't, I don't have MSR uh, fuel. This is the fuel that we actually used on our trip because in all reality, fuel was harder to come by than it should have uh, when we went on our trip back in July, um, which is kind of crazy. I've never seen that before, but of course, you know, COVID, COVID is COVID. And now this one is actually pretty low because we did our entire trip on this big canister. Um, and uh, we were feeding four people, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and kick it on. You can hear it there, and and so you can see it's not easy to see, but you'll see that see that red mark there. Uh, you can tell real quick that it's on because that wire gets well nice and red. But there is a lot more control on this specific stove versus the single personal and the duo. Let me go ahead and turn it off for now. Um, you get a lot more control on it. So that's why we can actually cook better with this specific stove system. Now, the other thing to, to mention is there's no coffee like filter that I can like, you know, I can do a, uh, a Java press with the other two and there's a kit that you can get on both this, the single personal and the duo, but on the group ones, you can't. Um, so the other accessory that I would recommend buying if you're a coffee person is the mug mate from MSR. Um, it's just literally a perforated, uh, just a reusable filter that you throw over your mug, put your coffee grounds in, and then you just do a pour over uh, and it, slow, it mixes in with the grounds and slowly percolates through the mesh into the mug. And it worked really, really well. We, uh, we used this our entire trip for uh, our coffee needs and it worked fantastic. We loved it. Um, we did have one cup that wasn't wide enough mouth to like this so it was a little bit harder for that specific cup but other than that i think from here on out we're just going to make sure that the cups we get will actually take that um but yeah that's that's what you get with the whole group system if you if you go with the combo obviously 
everything that you see other than it doesn't come with fuel you'll have to provide your own and i swear when we were on our way back i think i bought some msr fuel but i, I have no idea where i put it i think it's out in our camper um but that said guys that is the uh, msr group uh wind burner stove system now while i um this video is mainly focused on the group stove system uh, whether or not you're buying the single group system or the whole combo kit. I love the system and uh, it's kind of crazy. I mean, I started with the smallest. I went to the middle. I've used these multiple times and now I have the group stove system. And what I use these for is um, solo, solo trips or bike packing or things like that. Or if I go out with a friend, sometimes even when I'm with friends, they're, they're bringing their own thing or they're not eating at the campsite. They're grabbing food or whatever. And so, you know, then on the small one will work just fine for me. It really comes down to what you're cooking, how you're cooking, how many people you're cooking for. Now, the troop trip that I took with my wife and my two kids um, was car camping out of the back of our Tesla. And we were kind of just on the road um, stopping at campgrounds, uh, stopped at the Smoky Mountains, and we did all of our cooking at the campsites with this system. With these, it would have worked. It just would have taken longer. Um, so the nice thing about this is that it works incredibly well. It is pretty efficient. Obviously, it's not as efficient as these two. These are designed to be as efficient as possible. But for when you're cooking for a group, it's pretty efficient. Um, it works no matter what the wind conditions are. That's the thing about the whole wind burner system is no matter what your weather conditions are, you're going to be able to cook. And that's fantastic. I mean, it absolutely is fantastic. Um, and then at the same time with the whole system, now this pan here, we only used, I think on our trip, we actually only used it once with the eggs that we cooked the, the one day. Um, so was this a necessity? No. In all reality, depending on how you're cooking, depending on what you're cooking, but I am glad to have it because I'm sure I will actually cook with it more in the future because now that I've used it, I understand, okay, I can cook more slow cook kind of uh, standard foods like bacon and eggs and other things in that pan that I have used to not being able to cook with these. Um, so that's the whole thing about this system. I really like it. Um, for the money, um, for the extra, I think, 60 bucks to get this pan, uh, I would do it again, uh, no reality. And uh, the nonstick part works quite well. But like I said before, the majority of the stuff that we cooked in the pot, and again, a two and a half liter pot, was just boiling water um, for the various things that we were cooking. So that said, guys, um, I'm probably going to have another video on this system. Um, I'd like to actually see if I, you know, pour in maybe... Uh, water in these three how the time comes out for the boil because I, I in like the boil videos I did in years past I'd like to actually see how it goes with this whole system um, But that's coming up. So um, to start that's where I'm gonna end it uh, Thank you very much for watching this specific video if there's something that you have a question for or something that you'd like to see um, with any of these three um, absolutely let me know in the comments below or hit me up at, at campgeeks.com. You can get a hold of me, contact at campgeeks.com. You get a hold of me directly. So thanks for watching here all the way to the end. If you have any questions, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, and then share or put anything down below. Otherwise, we'll catch you back here on Camp Geeks for another future video review. We'll see you soon.